detected. Oh, hi there. How you doing? You just uh, you just caught me uh, playing with the uh, one of the latest sabers I've made with the crassy with the crystal chassis reveal on it. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Hang on, let me take it out for you and show you it. There's these little things at the bottom there. I'll just give it a little turn. Ha 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 ha. And I, how do you do uh, motion free? Yes, there we go. You may uh, you may recognise the sound font. It's not one of mine. Thanks to grayscale fonts, they've let me borrow or use. some of their fonts on the Sabre. And I, this obviously is connected to my app. So I could just go onto it, I could just change things. I love that sound. Oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, oh, Ben, you've lost some weight. Uh, actually, yes, I have. Uh, about seven weeks ago, I was 15.4 stone. Uh, I'm now, uh, I've dropped a full stone, guys. So I'm now 14.4. Uh, so thank you very much for noticing. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, I was just doing my own thing, playing with my new uh, new lightsaber, which I, uh, I really, really like. Have another look if you want. Look at that. Isn't it nice? This is the Jade Sith, I think it's called. Oh no, I swear it's called the Jade Lord, my apologies. But it's really, really nice. And like I said, this is the second generation chassis. You can see the crystal a lot easier in this one now. And some of the great things about this is you have the battery, which has got a lovely little cover. Fluff it up as I do which just magnetically goes into place and for the electronics which is just under here you just take this one off 
and then you have the neatest setup I have ever done for electronics ever in my entire career. That is so pristine and so neat. It is unbelievable. It is just lovely to look at. Uh, you may have noticed that this is actually different to the chassis that I gave you a sneak peek of previously. And I hear you ask that question, I say, yes, it is a different one. Originally, it was the Starkiller chassis. Same concept, few changes. So, again, we have the, uh, the magnetic cover. So it just goes on. But the base was very different. The, uh, the biggest difference, the biggest change is obviously the crystal chamber has now uh, changed. You, got, you can see the chamber much more clearly and the crystal through the sides much more clearly as well. The electronics were just on show, which I didn't really like. So now they're fully covered up with a little logo, which is nice. And the base is completely different. Uh, this butter has now gone because it's not needed. Uh, the charging port is actually on the side of the second gen chassis, whereas before it was on the base. And at the base you've just got the dead center for the on off button. Well, similar to the other one, but it was a bit more of an angle to, um, side to get that. And also you have these four prongs which really, really help you get be able to uh, turn the chassis around so I'll just show you again so when I want to put the chassis inside it's dead easy you just line it up it goes in uh, where's it lined up there it goes and then you just turn it and that's it it's in it's done and you may I, may, I can hear you asking that question and it's a good question Ben can you use this chassis in other models from your uh, Sabre range? Well, it's a good question, and yes, you can. Let me grab you another Sabre. So here is another hilt from the new range. And again, just as before, you line it up. It slides in. Oh, no, not lined up, way. It slides in like that. And then it's just locked in place. And then that's it, it's done. I'll turn it on. All power on. So you can see the crystal glowing inside. Uh, just connect it to my phone again. App connected. And then in a few seconds. If I want to take it, if I want to change the volume, if I want to take it out, I want to put it back inside, dead easy, line it up, a little turn. Gesture controls don't need the buttons anymore, guys. No need for a button. You have got the button there. It's just a for show, sure, though. You don't actually need buttons. Hang on. I never want to do it without blading. Oh, there we go. But yeah, you might. Uh, this is my. This is the um, uh, Ventress. We have a nice look at that. So this is another one from the new range that'll be coming out. One thing I want to show you about the Ventress is, check out the grip. That grip is so cool. It is such a cool grip, and the to be honest, the pommel is also really really cool. But I just thought, you know, why not? Uh, why not share these? Turn it back on again. 
Hell, I could put it down. I'm going to change the font. Might turn up a little bit. Let's see a little bit more, sorry. Yeah. And then after the first, because the first three, the first three fonts are from Grayscale fonts. So the fourth one is. Oops. Silly me. Oh, I like number five. Number five. That's really good. But there you are, guys. I've had so much fun with this new range. It's so much fun to play with. Like, literally, for the last few days, all I have done is play with these. Not over the Friday or the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I was too busy, for, uh, sadly. Uh, I mean, it's late, late Sunday afternoon now. I mean, it's like nearly 7 o'clock at night, and I've only just got to come back and, and play with these. But, oh, guys, these are so nice. And this is such a cool range. You're going to love these. But anyway, for, for me, for now, see you later.